east end of Newcastle Station on the 25th of May 1963 and a parcels working leaves behind Class A1 Wilson Wordsall, a name synonymous with steam locomotive design in the northeast. As chief mechanical engineer of the Northeastern Railway, Wilson Wurzel was responsible for introducing not only powerful freight designs, but also small tank locomotives, which even after Wurzel's death in 1920 were considered to be such an efficient design that construction was continued into the 1950s. The supremacy of Northeastern designs was, however, challenged by the introduction of newer types, designed by Nigel Gresley, the chief mechanical engineer of the newly formed LNER. And from 1930 until the end of steam in the 1960s, Gresley's designs dominated workings on the East Coast Main Line. But away from the high-speed glamour of the East Coast Main Line, there could be found a unique mixture of innovative technology and raw power designed to handle the immense and varied freight traffic that characterized the northeast of England. It was express workings, however, that for many typified the route between York and Newcastle. And it was these services, together with workings on the secondary routes and branches that fed the East Coast Main Line, which are featured in volume 33 of the Marsden Rail series, York to Newcastle.